Now there's questions over the actions of Akron officers tonight. This viral video shared thousands of times showing police using a taser on a man and repeatedly punching him while he's on the ground. News 5's Bob Jones talked to the witness who shot that video. Bob, the police department defending the officer's actions now, but an internal review is still underway. Well, Rob, every use of force case is investigated to determine if the officer's actions were appropriate. In this case, a man who captured that cell phone altercation and then posted it on social media believes the officers went too far. But the administration here says the video doesn't tell the whole story. Why is y'all taking him? A neighbor who doesn't want to be identified on Akron's Para Avenue captured this video showing a man struggling with two officers yesterday afternoon. Stop grabbing him! Then they grabbed him and started roughhousing him. Once they started roughhousing him, I started to pull out my phone and record it. The man on the ground identified as 47-year-old Patrick King. The struggle lasting a few minutes. At one point, King said he couldn't breathe. Stop moving! Uh, I can't breathe! Oh, breathe. The neighbor also captured video of backup arriving. Another officer can be seen repeatedly punching King on the ground. The witness posted the video on Facebook, which has been shared thousands of times. I'm not used to seeing it. I'm not used to, like, always seeing it. But when I do see it, I want to do something about it. Deputy Chief Jesse Leeser says King was questioned after leaving a known drug house and then lied to police about his identity. Leeser told News 5 officers tried to detain King and got one handcuff on the six foot four, 220 pound man, but he started thrashing and ignoring commands. He was obviously actively fighting with these officers. Um, they were winded. The fight had gone to the ground. Not only do they have that handcuff as a weapon, possibly, but the officers also are very exposed. We're not ground fighters. Leaster says it took about six officers to get King under control. He was arrested on multiple charges, including resisting arrest and drug abuse, and also had a felony probation warrant. But the man who took the video says it felt like a case of excessive force. If anybody was to get roughhoused like that by a police officer or anybody, they gonna resist too because you you doing all of this with one hand handcuffed. Leaster says many fights caught on camera look disturbing and this case will be reviewed internally. But he added there was nothing captured on this cell phone video at this time that concerns him about the officer's actions. Every use of force is a treated serious and it's investigated thoroughly. Uh, we are trained to use strikes. Uh, we use those in large, large muscle mass areas. Uh, we respond to suspects actions. And police say King actually was not hurt, but he was taken to the hospital to be checked out because he admitted to ingesting drugs. Tonight, he's in the Summit County Jail. In addition to all of that video that you saw on that cell phone video, police have several body camera videos to review. Those are not being released tonight. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.